We've got some pretty wild news to take a look at here today involving the New York Rangers captain Jacob Truba and all that kind of situation that happened this past summer with him possibly being traded away. We've got kind of an update and some news here to kind of talk about regarding all that and all that kind of stuff that happened this past summer. So let's just get right into it here. Before we do though, Definitely, if you do enjoy this video, hit that like and subscribe button. I pretty much post every single day. So if you are a New York Rangers fan, this is the place to be. Hit that like and subscribe button for a ton more New York Rangers content. So let's get right into it here. And we have a quote from Darren Dreger, a pretty reputable insider who was talking on TSN Insider Trading. He ends up saying, quote, There were as many as 20 teams that expressed interest in Jacob Truba, which is is pretty interesting there. We obviously know there were rumors of him possibly being traded away. It seemed like the right wings were possibly that kind of top destination. And we obviously never saw that deal go through. Nothing ever happened. But the big kind of interesting part about this and kind of what Gregor's saying here is, you know, last summer, Jacob Truba only had a 15-team no trade list. You know, this past summer that just happened. So Jacob Truba only being able to block out half the league there, there's still about five teams, you could say, that were possibly interested if Jaren Dreger's right there and there were 20 teams that expressed interest in Jacob Truba, him having only a 15-team no-trade list leaves five teams available to possibly get him traded to, obviously. But the kind of issue with that was there were reports from Larry Brooks of the New York Post with him basically coming on saying that if Jacob Truba were to get traded away to obviously some of the teams that didn't want to get traded to, which it was pretty much every single team in the league because he did not want to leave the strangest team, he obviously would have potentially just not reported and just wouldn't have shown up to that new team, which potentially scared off teams, obviously, and kind of why potentially we did not see a deal actually happen. Although Jacob Trouba only having a 15 team, no trade list, and there being apparently 20 teams or so interested, leaving five teams there, maybe that's kind of why a deal did not get done though. Although it was somewhat kind of clear the Rangers possibly wanted to actually move the captain away to another team to get off that you know, $8 million cap it, whether we were going to retain, you know, half the salary, a quarter, a third, whatever it was, that doesn't matter because the trade never happened. And Darren Dreger did also mention that the Rangers could possibly look to move him once again in this upcoming offseason where maybe Jacob Trouba is a little more open to the idea of possibly, you know, being moved away and going somewhere else and that there could be quite a few Western Conference teams interested in trading for the big, tough, physical defenseman. So we'll have to wait and see kind of what happens there, but he did say that it seems like Jacob Trouba's preferred destination is also out into the West as well. So that could be interesting there and hopefully could help kind of get a deal done there, potentially if the Rangers can obviously find a team in the Western Conference that are willing to make the move for Jacob Trouba. So we'll have to wait and see, obviously, and a deal's not going to get done more than likely this season. I don't see that happening at all. So if a deal is going to get done and Jacob Trouba ever gets traded away from the Rangers, it's going to be this upcoming offseason as he does have one more season left after this season under contract with the Rangers with a cap it of $8 million. And I think so far this season, Jacob Truba has not been as bad, you could say, as he was, you know, this past playoff run and past season. But I still don't think he's obviously worth $8 million per season. So if the Rangers can move off him for maybe not much, or maybe a team's just potentially willing to just take him on, which it possibly seems like, and we just have to retain maybe a quarter or nothing. I mean, I think that would be absolutely fantastic. So if they're interested to still get off him, I would be okay with that. I still think that's probably the right move there to look to move him away and obviously open up more cap space to go up there, re-sign some guys, because obviously we know Igor is looking for a massive contract there. Lafreniere is looking for a massive contract. So in the coming season, we're going to need more cap space opened up there. And Jacob Truba, you know, coming off the books there, Panarin as well. We'll see, we'll see what happens with Panarin as he's still, you know, obviously a great player. But Jacob Truba there, I don't see him probably not re-signing, obviously, even if he does kind of just stay on this team till the end of his contract. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, whether or not a deal does get done this upcoming offseason. But it does seem that the Rangers could possibly look to trade him once again this upcoming offseason. And Kind of something that does go in the, the Rangers' favor here is his 15-team no-trade list does drop a little bit down to a 12-team no-trade list this upcoming summer. So that will help the Rangers out a slight bit there, but probably won't change things too much. Anyways, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like and subscribe button for a ton more New York Rangers content. If you are a New York Rangers fan, this is the place to be. Hit that subscribe button as well as don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on this very interesting news surrounding Jacob Truba and the kind of trade rumors that we saw from this past summer. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next one. See ya.